वेलकम टू डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन एट विद्यालंकर इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्नोलॉजी इन दिस डिपार्टमेंट वी हैव टेकन दिस न्यू इनिशिएटिव टू स्टार्ट अवर ओन यूट्यूब चैनल इन दिस यूट्यूब चैनल वी आर गोइंग टू अपलोड ऑल अवर एक्सपेरिमेंट्स वीडियो वैल्यू एडेड कोर्स वीडियो और एनी अदर इम्पॉर्टेंट वीडियोज दिस मटीरियल विल बी अवेलेबल टू ऑल द स्टूडेंट्स इन मुंबई यूनिवर्सिटी एंड दिस मटीरियल विल हेल्प स्टूडेंट्स Uh, to enhance their learning not just in their classroom but even outside the classroom i hope that everyone will uh, like this our effort and in case of any query comments anything they can put it in the comment box thank you hello everyone welcome to software simulation laboratory this is experiment number 5 Title: Analysis of root locus plot of closed loop control system in MATLAB. Let's look into some theory. The root locus is a plot of the closed loop poles of a transfer function as some parameter. Generally, the gain k is varied. The closed loop poles are the roots of the characteristic equation of the system. Now let's start with the program. New script. Now we are done with the uh, typing of the program. Let's. Uh, see the steps uh, as uh, explained in the previous experiments uh, you all know the functions of clc close all and clear all and the transfer function uh, this is used to define the s1 is the characteristic equation uh, whose closed loop poles are being plotted by using root locus we write this as tf in the first uh, part we have the numerator and in the second part we have the denominator that is 0.3 is the coefficient of s raised to 0 and 1 is the coefficient of s raised to 1 and uh, in this 80 is the coefficient of s raised to 0 140 is the coefficient of s raised to 1 and 34 is the coefficient of s raised to 2 and 1 is the coefficient of s raised to 3 uh, we will not put the semicolon for this one and let's check uh, how the out, um, how this looks as then we defined s1 s2 s3 s4 we find we need to find the root locus of four characteristic equations therefore we defined the transfer functions of these four equations on uh, next we use subplot uh, as discussed in the earlier videos you also know the uh, use of subplot that is it is used for dividing the given rectangular figure the uh, given figure into rows and columns and uh, the first two is the number of rows and the second is the number of columns and the last number is um, represents which block we are uh, accessing right now for finding the root locus of any equation we have a direct function that is r locus and the uh, uh, equation s1 so this is used to plot root locus now let's check the output as you can see uh, this is how the equation turns out to be by how we wrote it in the transfer function form S plus point three upon S cube plus three or thirty four S square plus one forty S plus eighty. So now let's check the output. These are the root locuses obtained for all the four equations that we defined. Thanks for watching.